what's up you guys what's up you guys i have not done a haul video in like some months baby you know what's so funny though this same blonde hair i actually did a haul video in like months and months and months and months ago i wore it down it's by only wigs only or only wigs i love their wigs they have like the bombers hairline honey you can have me see that lace like look at that so anyway this is haul this is like from random places random you know random random sites and stuff like that yes I'm trying to think did i forget anything you guys know that i am a humongous amazon lover the one thing that i like the most about amazon is you don't have to leave your house and buy anything and with that being said is you know how you go to the store and you just be like you know what i'm gonna buy i just need to go get detergent and that's it that could be like two, five dollars, whatever. When you leave the store, you didn't spend like a hundred dollars. You didn't got detergent, some shoes, probably an outfit or whatever. You didn't got more than what you needed, so you end up spending more money when you leave the house. That's why I like Amazon because if I'm looking for one particular thing, I just look for that thing, I put it in my car, and it gets sent to me in like two days. I ain't spend no unnecessary money. Like even going to the beauty supply store, you know, the local hood beauty supply store. I love to go there, but I don't like to go there because I do go for the bleach, and then it ends up coming out with like jewelry and all types of stuff that I really don't need at the moment. So with that being said, I did get some stuff from Amazon, which I'm really excited about. Y'all know I be making wigs, okay? I be making the wigs and stuff. I can always use certain things for wig making. You can never have too much of anything for wig making. Beauty Hair Direct is their name on Amazon. So if you're into making wigs, you need to make a wig, I really highly suggest checking them out because they have some really nice canvas block wig making heads that just differ from like the ones that I've seen on Amazon or any other website. And I really prefer using the canvas block heads versus a styrofoam wig head because these are the exact measurements of your circumference and you've seen me with these before but I've never had a pretty magenta pink okay so these are canvas blocks heads this is a 22 inch circumference normally I'll get like 22 or 23 you know depending on what I'm making it could be a lace front or it can be just a closure with the closure I really do like to make it with 23s but lately I've been making all of them 23s because a lot of times the cap shrinks just from sewing the tracks on and also people do have a lot of thick hair and a normal head circumference may not be big enough for all the hair that they have to stuff under the wig cap so I do like to use these because for one they give you the exact circumference and of course there's no eyes and face to tell you where it is but you can always draw like a kind of like diagram of where you put your wig cap that's what I do in mine and I just kind of put like a, a head or a face or ears or you know some eyes stuff like that on it. but this was pretty cheap it was $30 and it comes in a bunch of different colors okay it does come with this on the bottom here which is good for you know saying your wig stands on top of that you get like all these cool amenities now mind you when I have purchased these it didn't come with nothing but the wig head so you get one of these fashionable just regular fishnet wig caps with it you also get one of these which these are really good these are the double leaf that's what they call them the double leaf wig caps and I like these because these are the actual wig caps that are used to make wigs they have the hooks in the back of them that have like the you know the, the hook strap things to go inside of them they don't have the combs but they do have like the ear flaps on the side and these are you know you can also buy these from Amazon too they're not cheap let me tell you so you're not getting them for like a dollar unless you're going to like Aliexpress you know what I'm saying but I do like these wig caps some thread this is not the nylon thread that I prefer. I really would suggest getting nylon thread when making a wig. These are cotton. This is cotton thread. It's not really the best thread. It always seems like it snags and tangles. So I don't use cotton thread. But you know what I'm saying? If it's free, keep it on standby just in case you run out of thread. But you can always get big spools of thread on Amazon. Two clips, some T-pens just to place the hair onto the wig making head when making it and you have two curved needles in here you don't have a tripod for your mannequin heads then you can always clamp them to your table 
and it comes with a clamp. And this is super easy to put together in three pieces, um, very explanatory. This part is the part that suctions on to the table or whatever surface you're going to be putting it on. And then you have these pieces right here. So all you would basically do is take this and put it through the bottom like so. So you're gonna take this little knobby piece that has the ball at the end, and you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it through the bottom portion, and you're just gonna take that and screw it on right there. And you can also swivel it and stuff like that. You just have to unscrew it a little bit, you can swivel it, and then you just clamp it to the table. So this is all the amenities that you get from Beauty Hair Direct. And like I said, this comes in other colors. There's green, blue, yellow, orange, and red, and this is magenta. I thought it was cute because they're colorful. I've never seen them like this. So, I mean, like, you know, that's just what, I like pink, so. Hello. And then also I did get something else from Amazon, which I'm so excited about because let me tell you, I was using actually a light stand. Um, it's just a stand that holds my camera lights. I didn't need it, so I used it it up myself but then I did go and buy a tripod from Amazon on my own and I did show you guys that in a long time video but another seller which is called Yibo, Ye, Yibo Hair they went ahead and sent me their adjustable tripod okay and I'm loving this. It did not come with this mannequin. It works really well. I like this one because it's very sturdy. I also have the same one except for at the bottom of mine, it has like these feet that come out. This was rather cheap. I have seen them on Amazon for like $32. This one has some really good reviews. Like I said, I have one like this. It's identical. It does adjust here as well as here. So if you're super tall, you can make this dumb tall depending on how you pull it up. And this thing right here is like some type of lock. I'm not really sure how it works. Um, I have yet to use it. I do have the same mechanism on my other one, but I don't know how to use it. So I don't even, you don't really even need it because it stays locked. Right here is where you would just be able to swivel it, you know. So you would take this and you can just tighten it. So whatever degree that you're trying to prop your wig up with. And also it has a to-go bag. It comes with a bag. So if you need to take it with you, you got a little bag and you could just strap it on your back, girl, and carry it along. If you're out and about, you need to, you know what I'm saying, do somebody's wig or whatever. I don't think you can put your camera on this at all. But you know what I'm saying, if you're out and about and you got this on your back, somebody try to attack you, girl, just take it off and just swack them with it. It's a really good sturdy stand. So if you do need a stand for wig making mannequins, then go ahead and check them out next. Y'all know how I feel about lashes. I need them if I don't wear them. I swear to you, I would be looking like Kermit the Frog, okay, outside. You know, who do, who want to look like Kermit? I'd be feeling like if I don't have no lashes on, a girl is not looking her best. Even without makeup, if you got lashes on, girl, you good. But I have two companies that send me lashes, and girl, was I tickle pink, all right? So 11 lashes this is in my P.O. box. I was like, okay, girl, thank you. Use code 11 at checkout, and you can get 20% off of your next purchase of over $7. So they sent me four pair of their lashes. It was four pair, but I don't know where the other pair is at now. I know it was four pair of lashes. No, there was four of them in here. I know I'm not going crazy. I mean, granted, there are times, but this is not one of them. So the packaging looks just like so. The back of the lashes, as you guys see from the strip, is the name of the lashes. On the back, it does say the brand or the name or the style of these lashes. So these are called Army. They are very full and they're super soft. They give you a lot of volume and I thought these were really pretty. Okay, and the next ones are called ivory and i think these ones are my favorites now look at how long they are i love a good long lash pretty i love the lashes that are like this and if you want them a lot fuller you can always take a mascara wand and just fluff them out there's a hack on youtube that went really viral so you can definitely take your inexpensive lashes and make them look um, a million times better and then the last pair are yummy they're called yummy they're not as long as i would like them 
However, I'm pretty sure that these are good for when you have to wear your glasses. And that's the issue that I have with a lot of my lashes. But these are full. They're just a little bit shorter. And these might work out for me. I might have to try these on. These are like an average length. So then I also got another package in my postal box. Perfect Body Beauty. Lashes are a girl's best friend. And on their box says Perfect Body Beauty lashes okay perfect body beauty and then here's the lashes okay so these are old old hollywood old hollywood i'm loving the way that these were made these are gorge these lashes are absolutely gorgeous too now these right here are from um perfect body beauty girl these are called life Okay, look, they in their own different case. You see that? Look, I didn't even take the plastic off yet, baby. Now, this is high-intensity drama, dramatic. I don't know what you want to call it, but these things are long and full and, like, girl. These are basically telling everyone to get their life. Like, seriously, I don't even know how I would look with these on because they're so big in person. Like, I know y'all probably like, girl, that don't even look like anything. But if you was to look at these in person, you would definitely be like, whoa, that's a lot of lash. Like, seriously, look at that. That's a lot of lash. Let me look like a drag queen for a second. Okay, now mind you, this is just, whew. This is just how they look with, oh my God. They're pretty though, but OMG. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to put the both on so you guys. I don't know, I don't really wanna open them because I did promise these to my daughter Tati because she likes these, but she has like the perfect almond shaped eyes. For me, they're like, ooh, they, these are like really, really like, wow. Dang, girl, you be like, what's up, boo? Like, what's up? What's up, girl? You like my lashes? This is all me, girl. This is my lashes. These are all natural lashes. And you gotta remember, I also have other lashes on, but I wanted to show you guys how long they would be. Like, this is probably too much for me because I start, I'm, I'm feeling like Tammy Faye Baker right now. If you guys are too young, y'all probably don't know who Tammy Faye Baker is from the 700 Club. I think it was 700 Club, right? It was called, you know, that church revival thing where they was getting money. They were scammers or whatever for years when I was a kid. But this is the look she would have. Like, her lashes would be really over the top. And they weren't even this long, but they were over the top. So I'm starting to feel like one of those. Or I'm starting to feel like a really glammed up. Barbie like but they are still freaking cute though I would definitely wear these to like an event or somewhere girl listen I would be the talk I get everybody they like in these lashes everybody getting your life in these and I will post all of the information down below for perfect body beauty as well as I will also post them down below for 11 lashes y'all both send me some bomb lashes so I can't like you know discriminate or say which one I like better because I do like all of them even them big bold long lashes girl y'all know I look cute in them don't even y'all like to smell good I hope y'all like to smell good if you don't like to smell good then I don't really know I don't even think we should be having this conversation with one another right now I mean if you just go wash you can't just be funky and spray good smelling stuff on you because it's not gonna work out a company that sells replica perfumes by the name of I'm gonna just fancy up their name I'm not really sure if this is how you pronounce it because y'all know I am the name chopper I'm gonna make it sound fancier because that's how I feel like it should sound dossier okay dossier that's the name that we're going for today I'm hoping that that's their name if not then hey I hooked you up so dossier sells and customizes and just specializes in nothing but replica perfume for men and women. This is a monthly subscription website and they come packaged like this. So as you guys see, it says Dossier right here. Any scent that you order of their perfume comes with a little sample bottle in the actual big box that I showed you guys. So you can try and test out the small bottle first before opening up the 50 ml 
ml bottle okay um and if you don't like it you can just return the package with the huger bottle and you'll get a full refund okay returns are free there's no questions asked so basically you can order any scent like so and it'll tell you what is in replica of and it comes with a big bottle and a small bottle so this is actually the sample bottle which is plentiful try out the sample bottle first and if you like it, you can keep it and you can keep this big bottle. This is more than enough sample. I'm pretty sure, honey, this is like at least um, on an average day basis use, probably like at least two to three weeks worth of usage with this. It has the roll on top so you can roll it on and smell yourself. They all come with a card and it'll tell you which replica or which scent it's supposed to be inspired by. So this one here is called Fresh Floral 2 and this is inspired by Dior's Jador. That was one of my favorite perfumes. I haven't had Jador in like a minute, like in a couple of years, but you know, when you have a perfume, like you save them, you got like a little tiny bit, and even though it's like five or six years old, you can still pretty much, you know, compare the two scents. So it does smell like the Jador. However, mine, the one that's like six years old, it's kind of like, has like an alcohol scent to it, you know, cause it's old but I save things sometimes. They mean a lot to me. So it does have that inspired scent of the Jador. 1.7 fluid ounces. With the samples, honey, you could put this in your bag. I would highly suggest, you know what I'm saying, putting it in your purse, because you never know. You'll be around one of your friends and they might not smell that great, girl. You will roll them down, like just roll them down. Like you erasing them, you're trying to erase that scent. Girl, trust me, just carry it in your bag. They did let me pick out three scents, and a girl was like, okay. I did pick out two men's scents. This one is Oriental Woody or it's, and this is by Armani. This is an inspired scent from Armani Code. Now, if y'all ain't never smelled Armani Code, girl, get you a man and get you some of this and spray it on him, you will be in love all over again. If you mad at him and he done did something, spray this on him, on him, girl, you will be like, oh baby, you smell good. I love Armani Cole. Um, it does smell really, really good. I think like for me, um, I like really strong scents for um, like, I like strong scents. My favorite perfume, at this time is Terry Mugler's Angel. Like I love that perfume so much and it doesn't smell like it's floral. It smells kind of unisex. Replica scent, the inspired scent smells dead on. Like seriously dead on to the actual real Armani. Now they do tell you the ingredients that are in the perfume. So that way in case you're allergic to anything, you have the full know of what everything is in here and so the last scent that i got him is the fresh woody three this one is inspired by versace's eros i think that's how you say it now this this one smells good you know what this that type of cologne he put this on himself like if i could have more kids then honey i would be making some babies with this because this smells hella good and it's massively like potent. You know you ever get a cologne, this will definitely last on you all day long. This is one where you don't need a lot of. So this one is Fresh Woody 3 and this is the Versace Eros inspired scent. I will post all of their information below for you guys. Smell good, you know, wash and then spray perfume. Y'all know how I love me some makeup brushes. I got this thing for makeup brushes and I'm not really even sure why, but I love this one particular company um, because they have affordable items. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can buy their brushes separately. They do have some really affordable, good makeup brushes. And this is not like my first go round with their makeup brushes. This is like the fourth time that I've received makeup brushes from them. Um, and I do like them. So yes, some of them are a little dirty right now because I was using them. So, you know, it is what it is. Juno and Co and company. And they have a lot of affordable makeup. I think their brushes are like a dollar or two a piece. Their brushes are made really well. Plus also on their brushes, you will see brush number. So that way, if you ever wanna get it again, or you wanna refer someone to the brush, you can definitely tell them. So this brush right here is the blush brush. I love it. Um, I already have this from their 
prior collections, I like the quality of these brushes. They're very sturdy and they're very inexpensive. So definitely if you're like a new um, person that does makeup or you're new to makeup, the entire game of makeup, I would not say spending and splurging a lot on makeup brushes. So normally I just use the same eyeliner brush always and it's an angled eyeliner brush i've never used one of these before okay never in my life and let me tell y'all something about this this brush is the es21 this thing makes doing my freaking eyeliner a million times easier okay i don't know what it is about this little thing but i will tell you this make sure that your eyeliner brush is clean before you even dip it into cream or liquid because this will give you the sharpest eye like you will have to cut eyeliner crease whatever you want to call it i like this brush this one right here is the es18 yes it's a little it's sturdy i used it and i just use that to kind of like go into the crease of my eyes i'm not no makeup beauty guru i just do what i do and that's all i do no this brush is not for this but it is look, listen i will use a makeup brush for whatever suits me and makes me feel comfortable so this is the es16 and yes this is like um a blending brush i think for under eye listen i said i'm not a makeup artist look you know what i did with this brush because i don't really like to wear too much eyeshadow sometimes i mean i'm not trying to look like i'm painted on i just took this and just dipped it in my eyeshadow my morphe eyeshadow and I just patted it on and this is what I did saves me so much time and then there are some other brushes that I already have in my collection um this is the ES22 this is Girl, if I didn't need it for my eyebrows, I would definitely use this for my edges. This is the ES13. I'm not really sure what this is for, but it's not um, it's not dense. It is kind of dense. I'm not really sure what you would use this for because it didn't have no explanation, honey. You know, being that it's kind of like slanted, I would probably pat my setting powder on with this. A really small eyeshadow brush, which is the ES20. And the last but not least, is their contour brush. I'm not like a huge fan of these contour brushes. I never really was. To me, they're too dense, and I just don't think that they blend that great. So you can check out Juno and Company. I will definitely link the information below. They have like really inexpensive palettes and makeup, you know what I'm saying? So if you're on a budget, or you just like makeup in general, check them out. One of my favorites of all time, makeup brush companies. I got like, probably like six sets by them, six makeup brush sets. I've been working with them for years. And besides Juno and Companies, I do use their brand, this brand, on a daily basis, girl. So listen, if you cannot afford MAC, brushes mac makeup brushes because mac makeup brushes are lit i have like a humongous collection of them but they are very pricey um but if you like mac makeup brushes then you definitely gonna have to check out sedona lace they have so many different collections and this is one of them that i got right here hunties okay so this one right here that i got is a really nice one because it comes with this cute bag that you can just basically put your makeup brushes in so this is the 12 piece one i'm thinking that it only had 12 i'm feeling like i, I, I lost one somewhere along the interim but you know what i'm saying it is what it is so sedona lace they have like the best eyeshadow makeup brushes ever like seriously they resemble mac brushes to a t like seriously i love the sedona lace brushes makeup brushes if i had to choose i would definitely choose their brushes out of anybody's brush i have like five of these and i love these buffer brushes this will definitely have your makeup lit their buffer brush is everything so this is the fb07 you can also strap this on and wear it into makeup this one is another favorite of mine this is the contour um like the jumbo tulip contour brush this brush is everything okay listen this is the third one that i have i have one of these brushes and i use that thing every single day for like years oh my god this is like the best best highlighting brush um what other one Okay, so also, you can also use these for a good highlight, but when I do a highlight for a fan brush, I kind of like it to be a little bit smaller, but I do have three of these by them, and for this, you know, this is good for like certain, certain highlights. You don't want to overdo it, but it's also good for contouring. Honey, if you want to blind somebody with highlight, 
girl, use this. Then when you're done, you could like fan yourself off because you're gonna make your own stuff hot. This is another favorite of mine. This one is like a dead on twin to MAC, EB09. This brush makes blending seamless. I mean, there are so many good brushes. Like this brush, the EB15, will definitely take your life away. Hunties, yes. And then there's just like other random brushes. They have like a bunch of different collections. You can buy the brushes single. So if you don't want to spend on all the brushes or you don't need all the brushes, you can buy them single. But Sedona Lace, they do have some really affordable brushes. I'll link them down below for you guys. I don't really do my nails like that because, you know, I have wigs to make. Wearing nails sometimes can take away from my work and makes a little bit more time consuming. I figured that I would just pick out these nails and I haven't put them on yet. And I've been waiting for the right opportunity to do so. So, a young lady reached out to me and the name of her website for nails is called Princess Press On. And she sent me two sets of nails, one for me and one for somebody who is lucky to win them. Um, I think there's probably like 20 nails in each of the little pouches. You also get some fingernail glue. You can put your nails on. Instructions inside the pouches. So if you don't know how to do your nails, then honey, here we go. Um, so this one is done with glitter. My thumbnail is kind of like big. That's what the blue one looks like. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can really see. So this is what the blue looks like. It's very pretty, and unfortunately, you guys probably can't see like the glitter in it. But if I was to glue it on, um, you know, you because of the shape of it, you are seeing like some of my corners right here on my nail bed. I would say if I was to get any type of nails that were already decorated for me, I would probably have to get them like just a normal shape because I think like they are too far back when it comes to the shape. I like the workmanship of it. She did a really good job, but um, for me, they wouldn't fit properly and I don't really want to show the sides of my nails. But I mean, if you're wearing them like that just for the night and the evening, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be, you know, that bad. I do like the length of them. They kind of remind me of like bird claws. But she did like a really good job on them. It's the thumbnail that doesn't fit. The rest of them fit my fingers properly. Now, I'm not really sure which one I want to keep now because I'm feeling these yellow ones. The yellow thumb fits me a whole lot better. I think I'm gonna just keep the yellow ones and I'm gonna get the blue ones away. So I'm happy now because the yellow ones fit my thumbs. I will post all of her information on um, in the description box below. I'm not really sure what the rules to be for this giveaway, but I will post it down below so that way, you know, it'll be something really easy. You can get 5% off if you tag them on Instagram. I also did get something in my box of post office goodies. LaDonna Bellini, LaDonna's Bling and Things. This is definitely bling, honey. Matching necklace and earrings. Now, this is from Paparazzi Jewelry. They sell inexpensive jewelry, like, it's kind of like a chain thing. I'm gonna say a chain thing, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a cult. When one start emailing you, they all come email. I'm dead serious, okay? I have gotten paparazzi jewelry before in the mail from someone, and I'm not like a really huge fan of their jewelry. Um, it's very inexpensive. Some of the things I'm just not into, so like, but these are really actually pretty. So she, she actually picked out some nice earrings for me. Okay, so just from the name alone, I'm not dissing paparazzi, but just from the name alone when it said paparazzi, I thought it was like some really, really expensive looking jewelry. And then when I finally went on the website, not from her, but like years ago, I was like, oh, I'm good. But um, yeah, these are these are cute though. I, I do like these, okay? She did send me the matching necklace. Um, I don't really kind of wear um matchy matchy. These are cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. These are the first real cute earrings I've seen from Paparazzi. Because everything that I've seen, girl, I, I, I didn't really care for it too much. But these, these are actually really, really nice, okay? I haven't looked on their website in a minute, so, you know, things are liable to change. LaDonna's Bling and Things, independent consultant, okay? Um, for the paparazzi accessories. So she's an independent consultant, so she can consult you on looking cute. If you don't know nothing about no jewelry, LaDonna will let you know. The necklace, which is very, oh, let's look at that. And the, the necklace also comes with another pair of smaller earrings. 
that look just like the long ones. This is the necklace. Very pretty. It's nice. I'm definitely not going to wear it with this shirt, but I'm pretty sure that it would look cute with like some skin showing. You know what I'm saying? This is cute. So, Lazana, thank you. I will post her information below. That was the nicest paparazzi jewelry I ever was sent because I got some stuff before, girl, and I was like, mm, I'm not supposed to show this. So, that says a lot. You guys already know what time it is. Octoly.com. Now, listen. I haven't done an Octoly video in a minute. If y'all do not know what Octoly is, it is an amazing website that is a free store. When I say it's a free store, meaning if you are a beauty guru, a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, you can get products to review at no cost to you, okay? No cost to you. They are high-end products, they are medium-end products, they are low-end products. They have all type of beauty care needs, all type of hair care needs. They also do have some accessories on there, some smell goods. I love Octoly because they have amazing products. You get to do reviews and you also get to keep the items that were gifted to you. So every item is gifted to you and all they ask in return is for an unbiased, natural, realistic, real, honest review. And I was so happy when I got these Becca Cosmetics to review i do like their heavy foundation like their full coverage foundation i am in the color bamboo even though it's a little bit too dark for me i can always tone it down it gives me really good full coverage especially because my skin is oily it doesn't give me that thick caked up look and the foundation be on my face all day long i was nicely gifted from the becca cosmetics line the becca skin love and this is their love your skin complexion kit this is the weightless blur foundation i don't want my freckles like being covered up or anything like this so this weightless blur foundation is really good i got it in a different color well you know what this color I got it in was bamboo so this is my actual color that I use in the 24 hour foundation okay I love this I like the new packaging of this it's more or less like a tube but it has a pump on it and this is what I have on my face right now so this one compared to like my full coverage it's like I said, it's weightless. It's not as thick. It's very easy to blend. You are able to see like my freckles. I think this is really good for in the summertime. I've been using this every day since I've gotten, as you guys can see, I put a little indent smash in the tube on it, but I like this one. It doesn't have me cakey. I have like this kind of like dewy look. Um, it also did come with the Instantly Awaken Your Skin Primer. This one I only used twice. This basically will awaken your skin and make your skin look refreshed. So you know you wake up in the morning you gotta go to work gotta go to school whatever you know you gotta put your makeup on and sometimes we have like that sleepy groggy look our skin may not be woken up so this is supposed to do that it worked good with the foundation like i didn't get oily i think i got like about a good eight hours worth of wear with this primer and the foundation together. This was also gifted to me by Becca Cosmetics, which is available on Octoly. And I'm loving this. I've used this every single day now for the past like week and a half. Backlight priming filter. I love this one. This has my makeup on all freaking day long, okay? You don't even have to put foundation on. It gives you like a glow. And of course you wanna blend it in really well. But it gives you like this glow, this very iridescent, dewy glow look, if you guys see that right there. For one, this makes applying your foundation so much more smoother, makes the entire canvas of your face super smooth. To so wear it alone, if you don't wear a lot of foundation, I actually wear it with this, okay? I, I have on both of these today. And I've noticed with this one, that my makeup lasts like until the evening when I'm ready to take it off. They did send me one of my favorites and this I have, this is what I already have. And this is the 24 hour ultimate coverage. But I wanted to try the olive out because I felt like, you know what? This is a shade underneath bamboo. This will last all day on your skin. As you can see here, this is where I applied the olive color at. And it's a pretty decent match. Now, it's probably not matching my total face right now. And that's because I have on this one, which is the bamboo. And the bamboo will make me look a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, excuse me. But, you know, with the medium or the 
with the weightless blur, I don't have to blend it so much because it's not as thick. If you need full coverage for any type of blemishes or oily skin, then this stuff really does last all day. But the last item from Becca Cosmetics that I was gifted from Octoly Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love setting powders, but it all depends. I have my face and then I have my not. This one, I was like, hold up, shut the front door, girl. So this color that I have is a golden bronze. So when you first open it up, it has like this little pocket, this little door. And it says, keep me closed to keep me cool. So I'm like, okay, what? I didn't even know what it was talking about or anything. And then you see over it, unfortunately you probably don't see it now, there's like this little net kind of like thing. Little sponge like net that you could just push and your powder will come out. Let me tell you, just from the touch, it's cool. When you put this on your face, I don't know what it is that they did to make this stuff cool, but let me tell y'all, I used some, I had my beauty blender, and then I just put it on my skin because I was like, why are they telling me to keep it cool? Like, I don't get it. Soon as you put this on your skin, girl, you feel the coolness of this setting powder. I don't know what this is all about, but girl, let me tell y'all, I was like, hold up, does that really feel cool? So then I had to test it out on my husband. I took the brush and I pulled and pushed it on his skin. And he was like, it does feel cool. So this is set and chill. An ultra translucent refreshing powder that dust on like a mist and sets makeup to help extend the wear. This weightless powder sets, perfects, and refreshes makeup for a silky, smooth, invisible finish. So I use some of it, and I use it on my eyes. I use it on my face. Girl, let me tell you, perfect blend on my face. It may have been a little bit off, a tiny bit, depending on how I did it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to put too much, but this stuff does last all day. But you know what I really like the most about it? I wouldn't even care if it didn't last all day. It's cool. As soon as you put it on, it's cool. Like, how'd y'all do that, Becca? Like... And then the last product from Octoly, which I was also gifted, is by a company called Amore Pacific, okay? Ultimate Color color Illuminating Compact, okay? And I like their packaging. It's very chic, very bronzy looking. Comes with one of these little brushes and a mirror. Very, very nice, clear, clean mirror. And it also has a door on it, too. So that way none of your product spills out. You know, just take it. Mm. bit overboard hold on for this right here this is more or less just like a translucent you know kind of illuminating a little bit or whatever have you on this here um i think with this particular package this particular makeup this illuminating you know set i think it depends on what you use your skin complexion when i first tried it out i really didn't see like a huge like color payoff with it i think it all depends on what your skin tone is and how it's going to affect you i think like for a more deeper darker skin complexion this would definitely be a great product for highlighting i will definitely post the information below because they do have other products that i think are really interesting you can definitely check out oxley i will post all their information below for you gals you know what i'm saying ah. um i love you make sure you rate comment subscribe all of the information will be down below i gotta go hunties i got some things to do you guys um i hope you enjoyed this video i will be back real soon what y'all think about my ponytail fun I'm very hungry, my stomach is brown. So on that note, stay deep and anti delicious. Make sure you become a subscribe and I'll see you guys in a soon to come video. Bye.